What is up everybody, back with a new video here, and it's going to be one of my most listened to bands of the month videos. I uh, don't do these as much anymore, but I will every once in a while. So this one is going to be for March, what I've been listening to the most over the last four weeks or so. If you don't know, Spotify, it's what I use to listen to most of my music, um, and they give you some nice little stats, tell you what you've been listening to, songs, bands, the last six months, your all time, it's pretty cool. So just uh, recently here, so my number 10 uh, of March was Sleaze Bees, which is a pretty cool uh, glam metal band from the Netherlands. I was listening to a lot of glam metal the last couple of weeks because I did a list like involving that uh, a week or two ago, but love these guys. They got four albums, um, Power Tool and Insanity Beach, really good. Screwed, Blued, and Tattooed, probably their most commercially successful. Came out in 1990, but cool band. Um, check them out if you don't know them. My number nine, Traveler, really great. New wave of traditional heavy metal band from Canada. Love these guys. Saw them live a couple years back. Put on an amazing show. They got three albums, all really good, including their brand new one, Prequel to Madness, which is definitely going to be one of the best albums of the year, without a doubt. Uh, just freaking majestic vocals, uh, fast, soaring guitars, great twin guitar work, uh, great solos, riffs. It's all awesome. If you like classic you know, Iron Maiden, stuff like that, check out Traveler. They're amazing. Number eight, Great White. Um, again, uh, was listening to them. I listened to them a pretty good bit in general, but getting ready for that one list I did, it was top 10 um, post-grunge glam metal albums, and I had uh, one of their albums on it. This one right here, actually, Psycho City from 1992. Great album. Love Jack Russell's voice. Love Mark Kendall's guitar playing. Really cool band. All their stuff from the debut up to Psycho City is really good in my opinion, so... Uh, my number seven, Obsession, really cool band, um, had some really good stuff in the 80s, really good EP that came out on Metal Blade back in 83, a couple of albums in the mid to late 80s, uh, Mike Vescara on vocals, of course, great kind of raspy voice, uh, he later went on to be in Loudness, of course, Soldier of Fortune, and uh, I think On the Prowl, he was the vocalist, so late 80s, early 90s for Loudness, but Obsession, uh, Methods of Madness, the first one, all just really great stuff. So all the Obsession stuff from the 80s, absolute classic, amazing, amazing, just traditional metal that I really love. Um, number six, Winger, again, was listening to Pull a lot, uh, their 1993 album, which is, you know, as I've said, sneaky, heavy, really great musicianship. Red Beach is just an absolute monster on guitar. I love Kip Winger's voice. Uh, you know, he writes great songs. So especially if you want some Winger that's a bit heavier, a little bit more progressive, Definitely listen to Pull. It's a fantastic album from 1993. Number five, Necrophobic. Really great. Uh, kind of mix of black and death metal. Uh, really awesome stuff from Sweden. Saw them live a couple of years back too at Maryland Death Fest. Fantastic band. Love Death to All. Their 2009 album, some other stuff. They did just put out a brand new album, which I think is pretty cool too. So check that out. Um, number four, Tesla. Uh, love these guys. Jeff Keith, my favorite raspy voice. Another video that I did, you know, a couple weeks back. But he's a great singer. Uh, love Frank Hannon and Tommy Skio's guitar playing on those first four or five albums. Uh, Bust the Nut, Mechanical Resonance, all that stuff is absolute classic. Number three, Arcade, which is a pretty interesting band. It is, you know, a little super group that had Fred Corey and uh, Stephen Piercy from Rat, Fred Corey from Cinderella on drums, and Stephen, of course, from Rat. Uh, but cool band, put out two albums in the mid-90s, just, you know, that style was kind of fading away, so they didn't gain too much traction. But that first album, I think, is really good. They got a kind of semi-hit of a song um, called Nothing to Lose, which I think is great. Number two, Holy Soldier, fantastic band. They're kind of labeled as like a Christian metal band. Uh, similar to Striper, but, you know, I think these guys, honestly, I'd rather listen to their first two albums than any Striper album, to be honest. But uh, Last Train and their self-titled album, both fantastic, really great vocals. And number one, Judas Priest was checking out their new album a lot. Some of their classic stuff, obviously, Painkiller, Screaming for Vengeance, um, Defenders of the Faith, all great. And the new album, I think it's pretty good. I think it's a little bit overhyped, to be honest. Um, don't love it, but... You know, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, those were my top 10. And just out of the top 10, the 11 through 15, because this goes all the way to like 30. But um, number 11, I got Warrant. 12 was Mayhem, great black metal. 13, Joker. 14, Jet Boy. And 15, Cinderella, some glam stuff. But 
that's what I've been listening to lately. Um, let me know what all you guys have been listening to in my comments. And uh, till next time. Kidding. Wait. If you wait till the very end, you get to hear this. Almost forgot. Um, I got some other lists I'm working on. Working real hard to kind of try to get these ready. Top 10 list. I'm working on a top 10 80s power metal list. And top 10 80s power metal albums. This is kind of hard to put together because there's a lot of bands that some people consider to be power metal some people don't but i'm probably just going to use a big uh you know be i'm kind of be going to be kind of lenient on it i think use a big umbrella so you know fate's warning queen's right the early stuff some people say it's power metal definitely influential to power metal should i include it i might we'll see if it makes the list but a lot of cool stuff to choose from there working on just like a 10 great obscure 80s metal albums list as well might do that in like a series like part one part two part three just give y'all really great obscure 80s metal albums that uh, I dig. But uh, those are some things I'm working on, so hopefully those will be out soon. So be on the lookout for it. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.